I'll just put you down when I destroy this. Some stone, very good. I like how I'm putting her face down in water. Like, <laughs> just a, just have a drink while I get this stone. Okay, very good. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Last time we came through the, the red teleportal here in De, uh, Rimolda for the first time. And dodge. Oops. <laughs> and uh, today, hopefully, we're going to discover the Farmer Sutra. We also got a bunch of uh, rusty nuggets, I believe they were, so that we can create uh, iron stuff now, which is going to be fantastic. We also found uh, potatoes. So if you're struggling to find potatoes, you have to come to this area with the bricks and there are these flowers that look very similar to the um, ow, uh, to the milk blossom bloods, which is probably why you skipped over them like I did. If you didn't, then good for you. But they are a little bit different because they've got the yellow flowers in the middle. Okay, is that guy going to actually be dead dead? He is. Very good. Okay, so in here in this castle, we have to defeat the lunatic, I believe it's ow, called which isn't that hard. Um, just walk up to it. Ow. Seriously, dude. Um, and jump. There we go. Hit it a couple times. Seriously. And jump. Oh, it got me. Uh, you know what? No, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. Oh my goodness, I just used it again. There we go. Okay, I wonder if the mallet will do more damage. Seriously. There we go. Okay, I actually... Oh my good. I'm trying to use my medicinal herbs. There we go. You know what? I've had enough of you, mate. And jump. Get up close to it. It will be so much better if we had something iron to take this guy out with. So maybe that's what you want to do. Uh, it's a little bit long-winded. Wow. Oh, okay, we're naked. That could be bad. Can he shoot through this? He can't. Okay. <laughs> I just got my pants on. Uh, anything up here that we can use to help? Or that, that can help us? Oh, there's a... The chest. That's good. What's in there? Chimera wings. Fantastic. Just what I need right now. Seed of life would be good. Now I can eat it just before I die. Oh, hello. And medicinal herbs. Also very good. Uh, lots of building blocks we can get from here as well, actually, which is pretty neat. Anything at the top here? No. Oh, I thought that was something new down there, but it was just an orange slime that wasn't moving. Um, okay. So this is a little bit more difficult than I remember. Not quite sure why. But just let it attack. Ooh, that was close. I missed time my jump. And jump. Okay. Attack it a couple times. And jump. Okay. Attack it a couple of times. You get the picture, right? Jump. Ooh, that was close. Okay, and jump. Alright. I'm getting the hang of things. It's evening time. Looking forward to using my Chimera Wing and getting back to our homestead. Okay, and jump. There we go. Ah, we're getting there. The lunatic. What a lunatic. Like, I've never seen this thing before, this as well. So when it first popped up in my, like, my own playthrough, I was just like, what? <laughs> what is this? It reminds me a little bit of Metroid. And I know Sean will absolutely murder me if he hears me say that. So don't, don't tell him I said that. You guys probably don't even know who I mean by Sean, so that's fine. <laughs> and this should be it. There we go. The treasure chest unlocked. We did get a seed of life. Whew. Fantastic. All right. There we go. And in here, we will get... There's a small pile of old and faded paper at the bottom of the chest. The paper is covered in, clo uh, in close writing and unusual illustrations. That's a reads the inscription on the first page. Many a generation hath come and gone since the Dragon Lord did rob mankind of the power to build. One day the Builder will come to save us from the darkness. I hereby bequeath this manuscript outlined in the long lost art of agriculture to the lofty personage. O Builder of Legends, uh, let the light shine over Alephgard once more. Signed, Thalamus the All-Knowing. Alright, and there we go. We now learn how to make a rake. Very good. And also how to make a wheat seed. And also how to make a butter bean sprout. And also how to make a potato sprout. Ooh, actually, I want... Hmm. Okay. So learn how to make a heart fruit seed. Okay. Anything else? No. Um, let's actually take that treasure chest. And let's actually take these bricks as well. Because they look kind of cool. So if we want to come back and get some, like, carpet, we can. It's very good. Uh, I'm wondering now if... Because there was a... There was, like, um... Oh, it's nighttime. It's bad. 
there was a workbench somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. I was going to do the butter bean, no, not the butter bean sprout, the potato sprout quest and then give it to the guy that wanted one while we were still here. So I'll do that another time. We need to make sure we can make some cloves. Okay, it's night time, which means we have to make a, a, a dive for the, the only bed left here. Sleep. And we never brought that extra person back. So remember, we do have to go back and grab her as well at some point. Until then, though, we desperately need new cloves. Um, uh, we've also got the Pharma Sutra for Gerontius, so let's talk to Gerontius. Hello. Remarkable Dazzy, you found the Pharma Sutra. Quickly now, let me take a look. Yeah, okay, you can have it. Harumph. Oh, harumph. Hmm, harumph. Aha! Harumph. So that's how it's done. That's how our ancestors cultivated crops. Phalamus was a man of unparalleled learning, a sage of far renown. I, yeah, he compiled the collective knowledge of human civilization before it was lost to the ages, to preserve it for future generations. According to his records, far in the southern reaches of Romalda lies a blessed land, where the Holy Sanctum once stood. Sadly, the Sanctum itself was destroyed by the Dragon Lord's forces, of course. While a trace of this consecrated chan uh, chancel remains, uh, on the site of its ruins a great tree now stands that holds within it the power of life itself. The World Tree, Yggdrasil. I have no idea how I meant to pronounce that. Thalamus's records say no more of the subject, but this may be all we need to guide us. If we continue our research, we may yet drive the blight from this land. In the meantime, Dazza, I suggest you try your hand at the agricultural arts that Thalamus uh, has bequeathed to us. Alright, sounds like a plan. If we can grow food, then we don't have to find food. Um, okay, so let's first of all just take a look at this blueprint, which um, we, we got. So monsters appear near Dazza's base, fine. Uh, tribute to a missing maker. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe, is that the thing which, um... Is this the one which, um... What's her face? <laughs> Neophobia. Is this the one which she said I need the bench for? Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll remember that. Uh, where are the monsters that appeared near our base? Let's take them out. Uh, I hear... I hear sounds. The herbless workshop is destroyed. Right. Now I wonder where they are. Hey, guy. Seriously. What do you think you're doing? I've got no no clothes on. Ow. I've got no clothes on. Still. Okay. So I'm taking you out. You know what? Just, just die already. Oh. Oh. He's dead. He's dead. So now we have to fix our herbless workstation. Which is fantastic. Uh, I believe I had a pot there. Well, I think that... Yeah, this was just made by... Um... um this, oh, this wasn't made by anyone, sorry. This was um, designed by Gerontius, so it's not exactly mine. There we go, Herbless Workstation, come back. Thank you, or Herbless Workshop. Uh, the other thing we can do now is we can, of course, build a barbecue. But the first thing I want to do uh, is clean up my pockets. Oh, not enough space. Fine. There we go. Uh, first thing I want to do is figure out some more cloves. Uh, so do I have the things I need to make more Wayfarer's Cloves? Yes, I do. That's fantastic. I can put them on. Uh, the other thing I can make is an Iron Broadsword and an Iron Axe. So, attack plus 30 and can break, break very hard blocks. Attack plus 26. You see, I don't see the point in making an, uh, an Iron Broadsword when we can just make an Axe instead. I mean, it uses one bit of wood um, and it can break blocks as well, so... Seems like it's worth it. Uh, we can make a shovel. I don't think we need a shovel. I mean, okay, we will do if we want to do that um, memorial thing. But we do need to make a rake. And in order to do that, we need some broken branches. Uh, but before we do that, what's his face? Finger my bit jig. Wanted a um, a brick barbecue. So we just need a cook fire for that, which is fine because we can use the cook fire which we have. Um, in here already. Yeah, empty room. Boo-hoo. Bear with me. I am upgrading it. Oh, you know what I should do? I should almost definitely put my clothes on and equip that as well. Oh, look at the iron axe. That's fantastic. Okay, so now, brick barbecue. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And that should upgrade us into a campfire, or uh, not campfire, a cafeteria as well, which means our food won't go down. Um... Well, our hunger won't go down. Our food can still go down. So let's put that there. Barbecue kitchen. Uh, we can't really access this chest anymore. So I might... I might quickly just 
change oops, change this around. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy the, the I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so what if we uh what if we destroyed that? And we put the I, mean, I kinda like it on, on the block. So we'll put the chest on top there. And we can still have the balloons, we can just have it right next to the barbecue. See? Cool, right? Cool. Uh, we'll actually put the food straight back in as well, because this food is for everyone, not just me. Hey, Nosh, how'd you like it? Wow, thanks, Dazza. I knew you could do it. What a delicious looking... I mean, what a fantastic barbecue. I've heard that the island on the other side of that red teleportal is like a fisherman's paradise. The sea's full of salmon and tuna and everything else. If you caught me some of those, I can make myself a fishy feast and become a big-brained boffin in no time. Yeah, sure. Speaking of boffins, me and the other villagers have been banging our heads together trying to invent some kind of weapon. What kind of weapon, you ask? Isn't it obvious? Something to shoot that stupid Hades condor straight out of the sky. I know that looking after the patients is your top priority, but we'll never beat that blight if we don't get rid of that blasted bird. You and Al have got your hands full at the moment, so I thought I'd take over some of the heavy thinking for you. Only problem is, I've never been much of a thinker. That's why I needed to eat a whole load of fish, so I can come up with the ideas we need. Just you wait, Dazza. We'll figure out a way to make the best weapon you've ever seen. Alright. We get 10 orange oil. I wonder why that's important. Okay. Uh, so I think what I'll do quickly, we can talk to Drontis if we want. I, I want to make a couple more beds. Um, and why not just keep with the... Oh, I can't. I need broken branches. And cotton. No, I don't really need cotton, but I just need the broken branches. Well, I need lots of broken branches anyway, so... Because we're going to have to make uh, a rake. So... I got a dead tree from something as well, didn't I? Um, doesn't appear to be any broken branches nearby. We need to make that filtration thing, don't we? So let's see if we can get the stuff to do that. Um, filtration fountain. We need pumice pieces, and I can't remember where you get them from. I think, actually, if I'm right... Oh, broken branch. Uh, they're the little white stones. Like the tiny, tiny white stones. We've got some poisonous peat. Okay. That's pretty much useless. <laughs> I don't think that's used for anything. Um, yeah, what was I saying? The the tiny, tiny um, white rocks, like up here, I think they are pumice pieces. So let's see if we can get some. There's Bodkin Archer up there, but he's, he's nothing important. Um, oh, there aren't any tiny white stones. Perhaps they're in the other place. But you know, hey, while we're here, we may as well get some cotton, because cotton's good. Alright, well, looks like we're going to head back through the red teleportal. Uh, we need to save that person anyway, so that's something for us to do. So, why not? Let's just go back through the red teleportal, see what we can find. Um, ho hopefully some of the pumice pieces, so that we can make the the what's-my-jig. The filter, uh, filter fountain. we got loads and loads of chimera wings now, which is fantastic. Um, I think I am going to start... No, I'm going to carry on using my open club for now, just because we've got it. So, we need to break it before it disappears. Well, we don't need to. I mean, we can just, like, just not use it. Yeah, let's, um, let's just change into our, our iron axe. So, yeah, those little white stones up there, I believe, I believe they give you pumice pieces. Yeah, very good. Okay, and we learned how to make a throne stone. Fantastic. Uh, nothing else? Nope. Okay, so... I mean, like I say, at least what we can do is go and... I, I think, actually, on the, the areas on the top of these bits, like, um... Uh, on the top of these, like, cliff faces, the flat bits, I think that they have lots and lots of pumice stone for you to get. So let's actually take a quick look at that. Uh, swing our axe. Oh, look at that. They made, like, a handy-dandy staircase. Uh, go up here. Like that. Like that. Uh, and go up here. Wow, my, my switch is, like really winding up. Um, can I, like, do something like this? Uh, oop, not quite how I wanted to go. Uh, like so. Um, and then do that. And absolutely nothing. <laughs> there is a singular... Oh, okay, no, there's a couple of up here, so that's fine. Uh, okay. So we'll take these just because we need them. Actually, there's quite a few, so I was right. If you come up here, then there's, there's lots. Okay, very good. That looks like a, a, a an unreal block. Yeah, there we go. It looked like an enemy, just because it was a, a dirt block sitting on its own. Kind of gave it away. Oh, there's a something shooting fire at me. Oh, it's a bodkin. Yeah, that's what I thought. Run away from me, fool. Actually, we've got lots. Of, oh, there's some plumberry trees here as well. 
we can get some plumberry saplings um, and plant those at our base. But yeah, there's lots of broken branches here actually, so looks like this area is a little bit fresher than we thought. Bodkin, seriously, you, you, you're going to be doing that to me? Oh, there's two of them. Ah, okay. Got some wheat here as well. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have wheat. Okay, we learned how to make a bowl of porridge. We actually need wheat um, to do a later quest. So I didn't, I thought I already had some, but that must have been from the first chapter. It's been a while. Um, okay, no more wheat up here. So uh, I'm going to go grab the, uh, the person that we should have brought back. Before I do, though, uh, let's check and see what else we need to make the filter fountain. Uh, filter fountain. Uh, just some regular stone. That's fine. I can... Ouch. I can get some regular stone from here because all you need to do is just destroy some of those big stones. I'm actually going to take a couple more of these leaves because I can't remember, but I think we need these. All right, you. Let's grab you and take you back. I'll, I'll plonk you near the, um, near the teleportal and then I'll just pick up some more stone when I get closer. Oh, actually, while we're here, uh, just put you down. Got some, some heart fruit. Okay, grab those since we haven't got these yet. Grab some more cotton, pick you up, and run. <laughs> so let's head back over here. Need to get some of these big stones still, and then we can make that filter fountain. Getting a bit on for this episode, so we're probably going to be ending it soon. Well, let's just put you down while I destroy this. Some stone, very good. I like how I'm putting her face down in water. Like, <laughs> just a... Just have a drink while I get this stone. Okay, very good. Let's go. Oh, look, some more stone. There's a quick... Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a... Oh, wow, it is pitch black. Thank you, though, for that fire. That helped make a beeline for this area. Okay, let's enter. I'm not going to put her in the bed because I need to sleep myself. I'm going to be selfish like that. Uh, boop, there you go. Sit down there. Okay, and head to bed. All right, very good. And with that, I think I'm going to call it quits for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Join me next time when we have uh, finished some of uh, some of these quests. Actually, um, if you haven't tracked down the two poor souls that require a travel through the red teleportal and use your compass to find them. Uh, hmm, okay. So I couldn't find them. I only found one of them on the quest marker. Interesting. Unless I walk straight past them. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed. And I, of course, will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.